teachers, welcome. Jasmine Mendez here. In this short tutorial, I will show you the basics to being able to add a resource or an activity to your course site in any specific learning module. The steps are very simple. Once you've logged on, go to your course site. Looking at the right hand corner, simply turn editing on. Once you've turned editing on, you'll see this various icons listed after each specific resource or task. In order to add an activity or resource, simply scroll down to the bottom of the module that you want to add an activity or resource to. If it's the first one, you can select it here. However, again, you'll see it for all of your various modules. So go to the specific module that you want to add an activity or resource to and select add an activity or resource. The activities and resources that you can add will pop up. You can do anything from assignments where students submit assignments as a Word document or a text file, chat, choice where you ask a question, a feedback, external tool, a discussion forum, a glossary, a lesson, quiz, a SCORM package, a survey, or a wiki. Each of these activities has a description listed on the right-hand side. So read that description to be sure you are adding the right kind of activity. To add a resource, simply scroll down a little further and find the various kinds of resources that you can use. Now remember, an activity is something that students will do and turn in and usually get a grade for whereas a resource is simply a file, a document, or a website that students will read um, and find content on, but not necessarily be graded for. So we'll take a look at here to, for example, add a file. You want to add a PDF or a Word document. That's the kind of file that you would want to use as a resource here. And you would simply select Add. This box pops up, and for general, you'll want to give the file a name, so new document, and a description is required as well. This is the first document. If you want the description to show up on the course site so that students know what the document is, you can select display description on course page, but this is optional. And then simply you have various options. You can Add a file and it will ask you to upload a file or if you have recent files uploaded you can do that and you'll choose a file from your computer and upload it or you can simply have your um, box up your documents folders up and drag and drop a file into the box below one thing that's important is the appearance the display automatic will usually, for a file, simply download the file directly onto the student's page. You can either embed it, force download, open, or have it show up in a pop-up. The choice is up to you. Once you've done so, you would save and display so you could see it, or save and return to course. Since I haven't added a file, let me do that now. I'll go ahead and look at some of my recent files and I had um, a document here that I could use. I'm going to select this file. It shows up right away, automatic, so it automatically downloads, and I'm going to go ahead and save and return to course. And as you can see, my new file has been uploaded to my course site. Same thing, as many of you might have voice threads or websites that you want students to have access to, you're going to then select resources and you're going to add a URL. So you go ahead and select add. Again, give it a name, maybe first voice thread. Give it a description. And then you can copy and paste the URL or you can type it in. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and put the voice thread website. Or you can choose a link as well. Now with the websites, the appearance it's usually best to ask it to open in a pop-up because the automatic setting means that students uh, would then be redirected away from this course site and they would have to press the back button to come back to this course site. 
So appearance, change it to in a pop-up so that it doesn't direct them away from the course site, but opens in another window, and then we can save and return to course. And then once you select it, a pop-up shows up and there's the website. And so they can still see the course site as well as the opened URL. This is a very simple way to add either files um, and or URLs to your course site on Moodle. If you have any questions, please email me at jmendez at jvla.org. Thank you.